What's up, Rad Potential YouTube? Welcome to today's How to Take Apart Your Perfectly Good Stock Car, episode number 4272. So, we are going to be removing the catalytic converters from this car. Basically, the most basic decat and the header install you can get. So, we're going to use the stock muffler, the stock mid pipe. And we're basically only going to put on a paste setter header and then connect to the stock cat. So the things you have to take apart. Up here, you've got to get this large and in charge boat anchor off the side of your engine, i.e. the thermal reactor. Above that, you have an exhaust connection on the back of your intake manifold over here, which I need a light to be able to illustrate this better. So right there, those two studs sticking out, I'll put a piece of text on it, remove that, there's a pipe that goes down to the exhaust from there. And then right here you can see there's like a spring loaded looking um, Star Trek device right there. This guy, that's going to fall out right here, this thing. This is all a part of the BAC, that stuff it goes down in that hole. You got to remove that and then you'll have this pipe right here goes to that. Now on the newer cars it's a little bit different but basically it's the same principle. So you need to go on your favorite cutter place whatever and get a set of block off plates. You'll just need the BAC block off and that rear block off or you can make your own. The rest of the catalytic stuff you're going to remove looks like this. At least on a 79 this is what this looks like. On the newer cars there's actually two pre-cats and then this cat is much bigger. So I'll show you that when we go over to the shop in a second. This is that upper connection on the intake manifold, your three bolt flange on the back of the thermal reactor, and then this pipe right here is the separate little emissions pea shooter thing that is down here. It's a separate pipe all the way up. It even has like a little baby glass pack muffler in it. So, remove all of that, take this thing off your engine, which is a real pain, and you can get a 14 millimeter wrench stuck um, on the front, so if you put that on the front and use the ratcheting end, it will get stuck, so don't do that. Um, bottom bolt's pretty easy. Then we'll put the header on, so let's get the header. All right, cat delete, homies. So, on the 79, 100%, this boat anchor is a real pain to get off. I.e., I would will recommend you just go ahead and take your intake manifold off. Makes it so much easier. Um, I went ahead and did that on this. You don't have to actually, like, disc... Well, let me rephrase that. If you have all the rats nest stuff, you're going to have to disconnect some disconnect some things. But if you're doing a cat delete, you just delete the rats nest anyways. Um, and go watch my other video on that. But basically, once you have the rats nest deleted and you do the cat delete, um, you're going to be able to just take your intake manifold loose from the bottom. So take the leave the carburetor on it. Take the intake manifold loose from the bottom. Slide it off set it up on your engine. You are going to lose coolant. Coolant is going to come out. If you don't have freeze plugs in your block, coolant will come out. You'll have to get new O-rings or whatever or reuse the other ones and get a new intake manifold gasket, but just know that going in, it's easier to get to those top two bolts, i.e. I fought it forever, got two tools stuck and just took the manifold off, got it in like four seconds flat. So I'm going to slap this header on here real quick, tighten this engine intake manifold back up, go mark and cut some pipe. Um, and hopefully I can get all that figured out. It is like getting time where I need to go into town and go to the grocery store because before or go before they close. So you might uh, come back to this being dark. But I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these two things up and start cranking. So let's get to it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back on another lovely rainy evening, continuing this exhaust fabrication video in the rain, and it's gonna be super fun. So basically. Much like what we had to do, and I apologize for everything being dark, this camera does poorly in low light situations, but we're going to get under here and I'm going to show you what we got to make. So, what we've got to build real quick is I got to connect this pipe right here, which currently has a broken muffler mount right there that I might re weld the tabs on for. I got to connect that pipe to the header right there, so it's about a foot long. So we got to do that, but I do need to figure something out for that mount. Just some surface rust, don't be alarmed by this. This is literally just surface rust. Everything under here is super solid. Hey dog. So, paste setter header. 
I'll tighten that thing down. I'm going to move my jack back here, jack this up to where I want it, bolt that baby on. All right, so for those fabricators, you all probably get, get all this pretty easy. But basically, what you want to do, um, I bought a piece of pipe that fits just inside the header. And we're going to line this back up where I had it. And basically, you get that to fit in there, so that way you can approximate your length real tight, because um, you can move this here, and then you can just cut the rest of this off. And then you got to approximate an angle on the end of it, which I just, I chronometered one, and it looks like we're going to be pretty good. So, grab your flange. Slide the flange on there. Okay, get your bolts to wherever they went. In here. They might not be long enough. Might not be long enough. So I'll just do that a little bit. And then basically you just want to bolt your flange in. Oh, dropped it. Oh, dropped the knot. And my bolt's definitely, oh, barely long enough. If I could keep dropping all of these things. Sorry about the elbow. Maybe one thread. Okay, that's good enough. And then you're going to get your other side of the flange bolted in or lined up. At a minimum, you gotta at least get it lined up like that, which I don't think I have enough. Thread. Start this one. Nope, I don't. Okay. That won't fit. So, once you get it lined up, and you get your flange in there, have a sharpie handy. I'm gonna move you guys over here. Okay. Hopefully you all can see stuff. Okay. So this is a very important part. Where'd my Sharpie go? Gosh dang it, I lost my Sharpie. Probably under my head. No, it's not on the ground. Back here. Okay, there's the Sharpie. So, this is very important. You wanna draw a line to line these up, and a line to line these up, and you wanna do two on this side. Now, in theory, Whenever I take this in the shop, I should be able to position the header and the flange in their exact location. And then when I come back out here, it'll all fit. How about that? Easy peasy. This is all you got to do to add. These page setter headers kind of suck because they don't come with a flange on them. So you got to be a have a flange in this. And I would just call this a long, long tube because we're going to make it longer just to connect to the stock cat back location so now we get to take all this off we're gonna go to the shop weld it up Alrighty guys, so we're in the shop. We just finished up welding that piece on. I'm trying to find an exhaust gasket, which are pretty rare around here because rotaries always destroy them. But basically, here we go. Don't mind the uh, the welds, it's under the car. Nothing too crazy. They're sealed and stuck together. And that's what matters. So what we got, to cat delete your car, you gotta get you a header, have a mid pipe made. If you buy a racing beat header, then you'll need to like custom create a mid pipe with two flanges because 
racing beat has a flange on it. The other thing you will need to do is you will need this block off plate right here for the BAC on the back of your intake. And then you will need this block off plate, which this is actually just the gasket, but I'm going to make a block off plate real quick out of some steel. You need this one to go on the uh, rear of the intake. So this goes on the passenger side of your intake. This goes on the back of the engine, faces the firewall up at the top. Once you get those two things done and your header made, your cat deleted. So, if you have any questions, comment below. As usual, subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. Thanks for watching. Keep it red.